Hello and happy Sunday. This is Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com and today is Sunday, August the 16th and it was another scorcher here in Knoxville even though we were promised that the weather would be a little bit cooler today. No, it was not. Um, I understand some of y'all have had some really, really crazy weather though, so I'm not going to complain too much. But I am Kelly. This is ifyouhaveanegg.com, our weekly chat. This is chat number 186 and it is titled When You Sleep and Dusty is already making crazy noises because we're using bacon in part of stop it buddy i don't know what you're looking at but stop it we're using bacon in part of our extra credit tonight and he is yeah he's really he's hunting for it so he's near it he's in a chair next to me anyway hello melissa hello barbara um this is another great week um, I have gotten in a lot of activity this week, so apparently I paid attention to the chat two weeks ago. Um, if you are watching this on YouTube and you want to say hi and hello, do, because I will come back and say hi to you. Hello, Carol Lou. Hello, Heather. Hello, Lynn. I um, mean, it was good to see some of you for the second time today. So some of you all were at the, um, at the virtual workshop, at the Zoom workshop for the West Knoxville Center today. Um, hello, Elaine, hello, Rosie, and hello, Janice from Canada. Rosie, was it you that messaged me from Etsy? I didn't even realize I still had an Etsy, so if that was you, just, yeah, message me separately because we need to get that straightened out. Anyway, and yes, Barbara, he is already starting. Hello, Tedders, it's so good to see you. How are you feeling? Hello, Betty, hello, Kim, hello, Katie, and yes, happy Sunday, hello, Rita. But if you're watching this later on YouTube, Go ahead and talk. If you're watching with us live tonight, say hi and hello. If you're brand new with us, if it's your very first time, please let us know because we would love to welcome you. Aloha, Kathy. Hello, Vicki from St. Louis. Hello, Sander from Dingman's Ferry. Hello, Margaret. But several of y'all came to the 2.30 Zoom meeting. It's 2.30 Eastern time for people who keep tuning in way too early or way too late. Um, it's 2.30 Eastern time. And if you have an active WW membership, you can find that um, on your, um, when you log online. Hello, Margaret. Hello, Evie. Hello, Mary from Pennsylvania. Hello, Alicia. Hello, Trish. It's good to see you again. Hello, Marlene. Hello, Orlando Debbie. Good to see you. Hello, Kathy from Ohio. So, Kathy from Ohio, were you the one, were you the one that was the, the uh, star of Gwen's dream the other day? I was trying to figure out who she was talking about, and I thought it was you. Hello, Bernice. Oh, and Rita made that man's chicken with the nutritional yeast, and she said it was so very good. And Karen says, looking good for someone who walked in 100% humidity. So remember when I had all my hair stuffed up under my um, hat? Yeah, that was it. Um, oh my gosh. And, oh no, hello Stacy. hello Myrna again, hello Sandra from Naperville again, hello Jeanette, hello Haley, hello Shantae. Oh, I know Lynn missed this afternoon, she had something else going on. Um, Sandra, okay, so my nails are actually the exact same as last week. Sandra wanted to see my nails. They're the exact same from last week. These overlays last so long. They look perfect. They still look exactly like they did last week, so I didn't change them out. Um, hello, Terry from Connecticut. Hello, Catherine from Milwaukee. Hi, Dale. Um, Mary Ann says, happy Sunday. She's new for the live. So, Mary Ann is from Burlington, Ontario, Canada. Everyone tell her her hello. It's M-A-R-I-A-N-N-E. -N -N -E. So it's Marianne from um, Canada. Everybody tell her hello. And Barbara, we're going to talk about the charm in a second. Quit. And hello, Michelle. Hello, Paulette from Ohio. Hello, Sherry. Yep, Sandra. Okay, so Sandra. So Donna was your sister. I keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting that. Yeah, I saw Donna today on the um, on the Zoom meeting too. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Jessica. And Jessica, I should have warned you what links I was going to need today. I should have warned you so you could already go ahead and look them up. Sorry. Yeah, you're just, you're that, you're that quick. You were that quick. So thank you everyone for welcoming Marianne. Hello, Sherry. Hello, Janice. Oh, and Debbie, Orlando Debbie made that man's chicken this week too. And she used Dax BB Queen and the nutritional yeast. Yum, 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 yum. Um, but if anybody else is new, please let us know because we would love to welcome you. Um, hello, Vicki, and everybody who was at the Zoom meeting today, at Gwen's Zoom meeting. Now, remember, that's Gwen's Zoom meeting. That is not mine. That's not mine. I'm just an attendee. I'm like all the rest of y'all at that one um, at 2.30. So it was good to see all of you all, and I'll run down my list of who I think was there in a second. But hello, Maria from Melbourne, Australia. And Sandra, thank you. This is from, this is called COVID hair, so not coloring my hair. Um, apparently, it's making it grow, and all of these recipes that we've been making with yogurt. <laughs> Um, yeah, apparently all the milk I'm drinking and the yogurt I'm eating is making my hair grow, grow super fast. So, um, hello, Terry. Hello, Deborah from Quitman, Georgia. 
Yep, it is awesome to see you all. So the people that were that I saw that were at the Zoom meeting today, at the Knoxville Zoom meeting, are Myrna, Donna, Kathy, Sandy, Sandra, Sandy, another Sandy, Sandy with an I, Sandy with a Y, Sandra, Roberta, Carol Lou, Trish, Mary Lynn, Lauren, Amy, Catherine, and Kristen. And if you were at the afternoon Zoom meeting and I missed you, hello, so sorry. Hello, Lacey. Oh, Vicki, I wish. Vicki says, have you lost even more weight? No, Vicki, not that I know of, but, but Karen and I have gotten in a lot more walking and I'm telling you the exercise for me is even more important. So I think it just makes me fit better in my clothes or something. I don't know. And Myrna used the nutritional yeast on fish and says it was so good. So, okay, if I missed you, I am so sorry. I will try to say hello to everyone. If you're watching us on youtube.com, it's just, it's just youtube.com search if you have an egg. If you're watching us over there, if this is later, if this is tomorrow or the next day or the next day, just say hi and hello. I would love to say hi and hello back. If you don't want to see all the hi and hellos, just go ahead and grab your scroll bar and go on over to about 10 minutes because that's when it dies down. Hello, Kathy. And again, if you're new, give us a shout out. So we have several people that talk to me on YouTube and I love it. You just comment below. So if you're watching on YouTube, YouTube, just comment. If you're here with us live, comment. Hello, Joni. If you are here with us live, you have little buttons at the bottom where you can do thumbs ups if somebody says something good or if I do. Or if you want to show some love, you can do a heart and they will go up the screen if you are live. If you are not here with us live, if you're watching this after Sunday, then you'll just have to comment. You'll have to comment and you can do lots of fun emojis too. Hello, Reba. Okay, got a couple of announcements. If you log on, so if you are an active WW member and you have eTools, if you're online, um, this is the wrap up. We are getting ready to wrap up our six week charm challenge. Okay, this is WW's, this is Weight Watchers charm challenge, not mine. So I have information, hello Chris, I have some information, but this is not my challenge. So you are not reporting into me and hello Janice. This is a WW challenge and they had a six week challenge. I've really enjoyed it. I'm actually kind of sad that it's over because I've liked finding the words every week, even though they were super simple to find, but I've loved finding the works, words and waiting to find out what it's going to spell out. So if you went ahead and logged in today, so if you logged into WW today and went to your weekly, you have, you already have the sixth word. And if you put them all together, it makes another sentence. It makes yet another sentence. So hopefully everybody will go ahead and go do that. But when you have the sixth word, so if you log on today, today is Sunday. Hello, Naomi. If you log on today on Sunday, you will get the sixth word so you can make your complete sentence. You only have to have four out of the six, four out of the six words to get your charm. But when you do that, um, if you, if you are able to attend a physical workshop or if you can go to a, an in-person wellness check-in. So if you can go to a, um, to a wellness um, check-in where you just go to weigh in. So that's all we have right now. We don't have, um, we do not have, um, you know, meetings yet here in Knoxville, but if you can attend a wellness check-in, then when you get there, they're going to have something for you to write your words down on. So just take your six words with you. Um, write them down and you will get your charm right then. So you should be able to get your charm immediately if you go to a wellness check-in or if you're lucky enough to go to an actual in-person workshop. If not, if you're like me and you are still attending virtual meetings, if you're still attending Zoom meetings every week, um, then and you're not able to go to a wellness check-in, um, then I understand, I was told today, that the way to put in your six words through your app. So you will have to be an active WW member because you're going to have to log on to your app or onto the computer. But I understand that very, very soon, and I was hoping by right now, that very, very soon that that would be live the way that you put in, that you submit your six words. So trust me, as soon as I see it, y'all will be the first to know because I'll be screaming, ah, I got my charm. Because from what I understand, you just put in your six, wor six words and then your charm will be on its way. So I'm told we'll have instructions soon. I will post them as soon as I have them, what the instructions are. I am not posting the six words because I'm gonna make you go back. If you haven't been following along, I'm gonna make you go back and log in to WW and pull them up, pull up the six words. Okay, and remember you only have to have four out of six, but it's been fun, it's been fun to do this. Okay, second announcement. Wellness check-ins are headed to Powell. So if you are in the Knoxville area, you have are Knoxville, Tennessee is where I'm located. If you are in the Knoxville area, you have been able to go to a wellness check-in at the Cedar Bluff location, and that has been it. They have only had them at the Cedar Bluff location, which is the main location. Oh, Barbara, I don't know about I don't know if I'm the best or not, but anyway, you're welcome. Um, so Cedar Bluff has been the only place that you've been able to go. 
So that's not far from where I'm located. I'm still not motivated enough to drive to Cedar Bluff. So I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for my location, the location that I physically attend to be open. As of August the 25th, so that is Tuesday, August the 25th, if you are in Knoxville, Tennessee, you will be able to go to either the Cedar Bluff location, which is the actual main office for WW, or starting August the 25th, which is a Tuesday, you can go to the Powell location. And if you have ever gone to the Powell location, you know where I'm talking about. Um, I'm not going to give everybody the directions because everybody on here is not from Knoxville. But if you, oh, and they're coming soon to Oak Ridge. So starting August the 25th, which is a Tuesday, the Powell location will have wellness check-ins. That's just a check-in though. You can go in, you can talk to Gwen, you can talk to whoever the receptionist is going to be. Um, you can, you know, chat with her, you can weigh in, you can ask her questions if you have them. If you're brand new, you can take, she can take a few minutes and she can go over the program with you. If you just have questions, she can take a few minutes and go over the program with you. This is not a meeting though. I don't want anybody to think that this is an in-person workshop. It is not. We, are, we have not started in-person workshops yet again in Knoxville. This is a wellness check-in, which means you're going to go in and check in. And if you want to weigh in, you can. If you are a lifetime, you do not have to, you don't have to go. You don't have to weigh in lifetime in Knoxville. I don't know about every other state. I can only, or area, I can only comment on mine. But lifetime members in Knoxville, you are still excused from having to weigh in unless you want to um, until in-person workshops are available again. So August the 25th, Powell will be ready. Oak Ridge is coming along right behind that. If you need any more information, just comment below. So if we're here on the live chat, I will not have time during the live chat to answer questions on that. So just, make, just comment and I will come back around to you and answer you later. I will type you an answer. If you are watching this on YouTube, this is just youtube.com. Search if you have an egg, comment below and I will answer your question about the upcoming wellness check-ins. If you need to know about the Cedar Bluff location, PAL or Oak Ridge, comment below and I will answer you the best I can. Um, or when Jessica gets the um, when Jessica gets the actual the the wordy part of this done, when she has the um, this transcribed and up on if you have an egg.com, if you have a question there, comment. Just go ahead and comment and I'll get those answered. Okay, so those are two important announcements. Okay, the third announcement, and I'll make it quick because it's already almost 8:15. The third announcement, we need your help. So stupid COVID. Um, let's see, what was it? I was supposed to start calling it C19. We aren't even supposed to be giving it a name anymore, just C19. Um, has wrecked my plans on getting the new camera that we need. So we need a new camera because y'all know I have occasionally have technical difficulties. Well, I've had to quit completely using my phone because it was not reliable to do the Facebook live chats. Um, my iPad is pretty good. It's pretty good. The only problem is everything is in reverse and it's a dickens for Casey to get it downloaded on Mondays, make sure there's no glitches. Occasionally, my mouth and the words, like the, what am I trying to say, uh, the actual speaking part, sometimes they don't match. And it's because of what Casey has to go through to get all of that matched up. So the new camera that we wanna get First of all, everything would be in the correct direction. So all the words would be facing the correct direction. Yay. And it would save Casey a couple of hours every, at least a couple of hours every week on audio. Thank you, Kathy. I just couldn't, it just left me. Um, it would save Casey a couple of hours every week trying to download, format, so that the video and the audio are match each other. Hello, Susie. So that those match each other and I'm not off. Um, I think I already just said, I just said that everything would be um, in the right direction. We can stream live on Facebook, YouTube, which I don't know if I'm going to do that or not, but Facebook, Inst I think Instagram, there's a couple of different formats where we can stream live, but even if, even if Facebook goes out, so even if we are streaming live on Facebook and the power goes out or the internet goes out, or like if we're back at Disney with Debbie, you know, like we have been. If anything else happens, if anything else glitches, it is still recording. So we would get the entire video. There would be no interruptions except me going, what happened? Where did it go? So there would be no interruptions. Um, and let's see, it would be forward facing. Oh, and on YouTube, it would be full screen. So instead of you people that are watching later on YouTube, um, oh no, one is getting ready to get a storm. If a storm came, it would still keep videoing. Um, but you people that are watching on YouTube, instead of it being... You know how on YouTube, it's such a skinny 
picture the video so skinny and it's black on the outside it would be full screen it would be full screen video okay but here's where y'all come in because people ask all the time how they can help us and i always say don't send cash although a few people have sent cash for groceries thank you very much um here's how you can help so casey and i have we have a few of our wego t-shirts left and as a matter of fact hello barbara as a matter of fact we have just enough wego t-shirts left that if we sold all of them which i think is like 2022 20, or something like that um and hello john from home base a little late yeah you're a lot late where have you been mr um oh oh roberta's checking in late again storms in northwestern kansas oh no i hope y'all don't have anything like iowa again but anyway that was just weird so if there's anybody from iowa here I, I need to understand how that storm happened but anyway so in order to get this camera because you know all of this is self-funded so and yes wanda i'm sorry i'm gonna sidetrack for a second wanda has a lengthy question and she is asking if she can email me yes you certainly may so you can direct message me on facebook on the if you have an egg page on facebook or if you need to email me it is if you have an egg at gmail.com so it's just the name of everything if you have an egg at gmail.com and i would be happy to answer your question wanda or anyone else but anyway so we this is also funded and um, we do not get money from anywhere else ww does not sponsor us um i am not a ww leader paid employee don't even know if they know i do this anyway um but since this is all self-funded we right now just because of stupid COVID, we are not um able to purchase that camera but but if you want a t-shirt if you want a t-shirt you can go and buy one of the wego t-shirts and we have them in fitted so we have them in a more of a fitted you know um fit and we have them in unisex so it's more like uh, just a regular t-shirt fit and jessica has just posted the website i think she's just posted the link um to go and buy the t-shirts so if we sell all of the t-shirts and there's not that many of them there's only like 22 of them left or 25 of them left but if we sold all of those we would have enough money to get the camera and it would be here very very soon so i think it would take us less than like if we sold out of t-shirts this week i think we would have the camera maybe not in time for this next week's chat but definitely for the the chat after that um but anyway so that would be awesome if y'all could help us with that i would thank you very much we would be so happy and it would make our lives so much easier so okay that's it for the announcements. That's it for the announcements. Let's get on with our meeting. So, and bye, Alicia's family is there. So, bye, family, or hi, family. Hi, Alicia's family. Y'all go eat and have fun. So, last week, who attended a, um, who attended, I know, I'm sorry, and Debbie wants to know if I have a PayPal or a Patreon account. So, I do have a PayPal account, but I don't have, I need, I know, I need to start a Patreon account. I don't know, Debbie, we'll talk about that later. But anyway, okay, so who last week attended a Zoom meeting? So, who, I wish, I hope, I cannot wait until I can say who sat your bottom in a little chair, last, sat your little bottom in a chair last week. I so miss saying that. But who attended a Zoom meeting last week? Let's see some thumbs ups. So, at the bottom of your screen, you got a little button you can push. So, let's see some thumbs ups. And I have on, this is the, let's see, Trish is asking which one I have on. This is, see how it, this just hangs straight? This is the unisex one. So the fitted one goes in just, it goes in just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, and I have to wear a little bit bigger size in the fitted one, if that helps anybody. Okay, one size up in the fitted one. So anyway, yes. Oh, and Barbara got to sit her bottom in a chair. I'm so excited. So thumbs ups. If you attended a Zoom meeting or sat your bottom in a little chair. Hearts, if you attended here with us live last week or if you just watched it on YouTube or if you did both. So lots of thumbs ups and hearts, lots of thumbs ups and hearts. And I'm so jealous of the people that got to sit their bottoms in chairs, but congratulations to you. Yep, so here you go. Here are your Bravo stickers. So Bravo stickers to everyone who attended last week. Good job, good job everybody. Um, last week was chat number 185, and it was, oh no, Marianne's internet went out. Uh-oh, okay. So last week was chat number 185, and it was titled, What Happens in Your Body When You're Active? And we found out what immediate active impacts you have. So what immediate, what, what active impacts you can, you can enjoy immediately when you're active. So things of... 
Oh, I'm sorry. And Melissa said she just checked and her size is already out of stock. What? You, are you tiny? Because we were out of smalls and probably mediums. But um, yes, other things in the shop, Melissa. Anything, anything in the shop would help. Yes, it would definitely help. Um, anyway, so you all did your homework. Very good. And I actually participated in the homework this week, so I'm going to read mine off. But your homework last week, we were talking about things that you see an immediate impact on when you're active. So it's great to have long-term goals when you're active, like to say, you know, I'm going to lose 50 pounds or, um, you know, I'm going to be active because I want to get off of my blood pressure medication or to reduce diabetes or reduce, reduce heart disease or, you know, fit better in my clothes or things. So it's great to also have that kind of long-term vision on what's going to happen when you're, when you're active, but you know, it's easier to stay active. It's easier to stay active if, um, if you can see some little things, you know, all along, you know, all along the way. So, this is what we talked about last week was having some immediate impacts, you know, on your activity. So Sylvia did her homework and her homework, um, her favorite activity is Zumba Gold. I've never tried Zumba and I would love to, but Sylvia's um, favorite exercise is Zumba Gold and the immediate impacts for her are one, joy from being in the class with a friends, with friends, that is awesome. Two, feeling upbeat from the music, who doesn't like some good music? Three, she has more energy for the rest of the day. So a lot of people think that exercising would make you tired, but it actually gives Sylvia more energy for the rest of the day. And then a bonus, she makes better food choices for the rest of the day because she's not bored. Because she's not bored with that. Okay, over on YouTube. So Mary Ann decided to talk to me over on YouTube. Over on YouTube, Mary Ann says that she walks because number one, it's a stress reliever. I totally agree with you on that, Mary Ann. Number two, she breathes easier. So when she's been walking and exercising, she can breathe easier. Number three, she has more energy to finish her day. So that's the second person that has said, instead of exercise making them tired, that they have more, actually have more energy throughout the day. Um, and then her bonus was, you, you didn't have to do a bonus, but several people did. Her bonus was it takes her to a good place. So exercising, you know, just being some kind of active, and that doesn't mean you have to run a marathon. Teresa, um, Debbie, it doesn't mean that you have to be in a marathon. It just means some kind of activity. That's two people that have said that it makes them either in a better place, in a better mood, makes helps them make better food choices. Okay. Then we have Kelly. Mm -hmm. Kelly whines and moans and complains when her activity routine is interrupted. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. Um, she likes to walk as often as possible. So her three were, and Kelly is, in case you didn't already guessed, I whine and moan and complain when my activity is interrupted. But my three are, I get to spend time with my friends. I get to spend time with my family. Casey has started walking with me. Sometimes John walks with me. Sometimes Dusty walks with me. Um, and I will walk with whoever will walk with me. I'm an equal opportunity walker, so I enjoy that. I get to spend time with these people and it's time away from work. So I love it. Number two, it is a major, major stress reliever. There have been times when I was ready to choke someone, probably not kill them, I probably wouldn't go that far, but ready to choke someone, just ready to scream, ready to beat their head against the wall instead of mine. And walking helps me just helps me relieve that stress. And number three, it makes me feel accomplished. So like today, Karen and I got our walk in. I was feeling feeling really good about it. I've got all my steps in for the day. It makes me feel accomplished. So I just feel accomplished, you know, for the rest of the day. And especially if I start early in the morning. So everyone who did your homework, good job to all to all y'all. So good job on your homework. Here are your Bravo stickers for doing your homework. If you want any Bravo stickers, um, you could go do a couple of people I see are popping up and asking about if you don't wear t-shirts or if you don't want a t-shirt, other ways to help us get the camera. We also have digital downloads and I believe that Jessica printed, put the link in a couple of a couple of comments above and I'm sure she'll do it again. But if you want to go get grab any of the digital downloads, those are 100%. So like dollar for dollar because that was just Casey's time, just, that was just Casey's time. That didn't involve us purchasing anything. So if you go do any of the digital downloads, dollar for dollar, that will go towards the camera. So if you spend $1, 100% of that dollar will go towards the purchase of that camera. So yeah, so that's a good way to do it too. But we actually do have the Bravo stickers. We have them online. We've got digital downloads for those. You can print them out. You can make them into stickers. You can cut them out, whatever you want to do. So Bravo, everybody. Quickly, we are going to talk about, because I had so many announcements in the beginning that I have shoved us to the end of the time, but 
This is chat number 186, I think it is. 186, okay, when you sleep. So how many of you all think that when you sleep that your body just completely shuts down? So everything shuts down when you're asleep, you're quiet, brain, you know, your brain's quiet, your heart's quiet, your lungs are quiet, you're just totally quiet, just totally quiet. Nothing else is going on when you sleep. Okay, I thought the same thing until I thought so. Never really thought about it. I mean, I knew I dreamed and everything, but I never really thought about my body itself doing other things while we're asleep. Um, but solid sleep really is the key to all things. So to it's the key to all things. So if you don't get enough sleep, your body can't process things correctly. Um, you have hormones that are whacked up. Um, you know, your muscles don't get a chance to relax. So when you go to sleep, um, your muscles relax, hopefully. <clears throat> your heartbeat settles out, your breathing settles out, you have eye movements, brain waves, everything kind of slows down. And it feels like you're shutting down, like a computer shutting down, but you're not. It's This is the part that impacts your body the most. So everything from your brain to your heart, um, everything from your brain to your heart, your mood, your metabolism, everything else, it's all doing stuff. So it's all doing stuff while you're asleep. So if you've seen the movie, um, oh, and I didn't write it down. Oh, help me, John, Casey, I can see it. Inside Out, thank you, thank you. If you've seen the movie Inside Out, that's literally what is going on in your body every day. Things are getting gathered together, they're getting stored, you're getting you know energy stored up for the next day. All kinds of things are going on. All kinds of things are going on. So WW is highly encouraging all of us, if you can, to get as good of a night's sleep as you can. So a couple of things that you can do. Now this doesn't count, no, I shouldn't say it doesn't count, as the best night's sleep that you can. So notice I'm saying that you can. So some people have other issues, insomnia, um, uh, reflux, you know, things that help that, you know, babies, <laughs> things that keep you from, you know, from being able to get, you know, the best night's sleep, but you, you got to get the best that you can. Um, so WW's got a couple of recommendations. Um, they have a couple of things on the app that can help you kind of wind down. I'm going to say that exercise, you know, when you are active and again, you don't have to be jogging or running a marathon, but when you are active, it's going to help make you more tired. Um, going to the bathroom before you go to sleep. I know that sounds silly, but that can help you go to sleep. Um, but there are some things you can do. You can start tracking them. So you can use a Fitbit to track your sleep. You can just keep a sleep diary. Your homework for this week, because I, I think this is so important and I'm so sorry that we didn't get have more time to talk about it, but it's so important that you wind down. You know, we have this subject, we have this subject about winding down and trying to get some sleep not watching that extra episode of Netflix, you know, not reading that extra chapter in that book, Casey Bohannon, thanks a lot for the book that you have me reading right now. It is so hard to put it down and, you know, and actually, you know, wind down and go to sleep while, you know, while I'm reading that. Turning off all the lights, making it quiet, you know, all the things that we're doing to try and help get a good night's sleep. Um, but one of the things you can do, which what I want you to do for your homework, I just want you to track one night. So whether you track it in a journal whether you type it into your phone, whether you use your WW app, um, your Fitbit. Uh, yeah, like Haley just says she uses her Fitbit. So on, on your WW app, you can, oh, and Haley, the book is called, um, let me think, his name's Riley. I think it's Riley Sager. If, oh, is that his name? I'll have to find, I'll have to get a picture of it, but it is called Not After Dark or Home home Before Dark. It's called Home Before Dark. And this is a real book. Hello, Josie. This is a real book. And I think it's called Home Before Dark. Um, Casey will have to post it if she happens to be here or um, or I'll take a picture of it. But, oh my God, I think his name's Riley Sager. I'm really not sure. Casey's the book person, not me. Well, I mean, I like to read. Anyway, oh my gosh. I mean, I like scary books. I like Stephen King. This one's, I'm going to call more all involved. I haven't gotten to the scary part yet, but it was really hard to put it down. Not before last. Okay. But anyway, on your WW app, you have a spot. Where is it? Track my sleep. So you have a spot right here that says track my sleep. Um, I want you to either use your WW app, track your sleep one night. I'm only, I'm only asking you for one night, one night. You don't have to do it the other six nights this week. One night this week, I want you to track your sleep. 
whether it is, I know, and Haley is so good, it's like all involved. But anyway, track it on your WW app, write it in a journal, track it with your Fitbit. I don't care how you track it, but I want you to track one night's sleep, which includes hours, what time you went to bed, what time you got up, how many times you got up, and then most importantly, how you felt the next day. So that's what I want you to do for your homework, and your homework is hashtag solid sleep. Even if you didn't have solid sleep, I'm just really curious to have you write down Home Before Dark, Riley Sager. That is it, Shantae. Thank you very much, and it's an awesome book so far. I'm on chapter five, I think. And yes, Jessica, there, there is the link from Jessica. Okay. Anyway, so your homework this week is hashtag solid sleep, S-O-L-I-D-S-L-E-E-P. And even if you didn't sleep, even if you didn't have solid sleep, I'm really interested to see, you know, and I want you to write it down what time you went to bed, what time you got up, how many times you got up, and then how you felt the next day. So I think writing it down might help a lot of us realize, hmm, I could have gone to sleep 30 minutes earlier. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have done X, Y, or Z, you know, before I tried to go to bed. Ooh, and Betty just finished the book. Don't tell me how it ends. Um, but that is your homework for this week, just one night. So one night out of seven, I want you to hashtag solid sleep, write it down, record it, put it in your WW app, whatever you need to do. Then when you tell me how it went, I want you to tag me. So on Instagram, it is at if you have an egg. If it is here on the Facebook page, it is also at if you have an egg. <coughs> if it's on YouTube, just comment below if we're on YouTube. If it is over on the blog on if you have an egg.com, again, just comment and I will see it. And if it is on WW Connect, my, my Connect name is at Scrap and Stamp 2. Don't ask. It's at S C R A P N S T A M P and the number 2. Okay, so do your homework. I want to hear from everybody this week. We're going to take a really quick break. So if you're brand new with us, I take a break in the middle and get ready for the second half. We are cooking again in the second half. And Karen and I talked about what I have in one of the two air fryers. And we don't always cook in an air fryer, but yeah, I'm kind of on a kick here lately because it is so stinking hot outside. I don't really want to make anything in the oven. Okay, so new people, we take a quick break. I'll be right back. Um, everyone who's been with me for a while, yes, Sandra, it is time for your water. So it is time for a water break. Um, I'm going to grab my water. I'm going to put on my apron because it's going to be a little bit messy tonight. Bye, Kathy's got to hit bed, hit the hay. So good night to her. Yes, Barbara, it is water time. Okay. Woo. Let's get the apron on. Thank you, Rosie. Oh, Vicki, that's so sweet. Vicki said, Kelly, you and the girls really bless me each week for your encouraging ideas and hints and for cheering me on. Well, that is awesome, Vicki. Thank you very much for your kind words. Oh, and Barbara says she cooked bacon in her air fryer this morning. Woohoo! Hello, Patsy. You are just in time, Patsy. We are getting ready for the food portion. And Dusty got up and looked at me because he thought food, he thought the apron going on meant that he was getting ready to eat. So yeah, he's not getting to. Okay, so we are using the air fryers again tonight and I am going to get two of the things. I'm gonna get them finishing up while I talk about the third thing. So air fryers are awesome when it's super hot outside and you can take them anywhere. You can take them in a camper, you can use them here. I'm at work and I have two at work. We have two at home. Um, awesome, awesome things. I have some exciting announcements coming up about the air fryers that I use, um, but that's for next week and you have to be patient. So I'm going to get the two things. I'm going to get them going again. I will be right back. thing we have two air fryers going and you can't hear them you really can't hear them so what we are making tonight one of them is going to be in um, with acorn squash so I have I have an acorn squash cooking in this air fryer and I have chicken that have that bench chicken cooking in the other air fryer and hello Tammy Tammy's a little bit late but that is okay what we're gonna use this with though I have to admit I am addicted I am addicted to the um, Buffalo, to Winstar Karen's Buffalo Chicken Dip. 
addicted to it. I mean, like I could eat it every single day, every single day. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you, thank you, Rosie. I was a live guest on um, on Sim Simple Living Products Instagram stories last week on Thursday. So I'll try to post that video later in this week for anybody that missed it. But okay, so I'm addicted to Winstar Karen's buffalo chicken dip. And if you wanna know how to make it, it is already on the blog. It's already on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. And if you just search buffalo, or if you start win or search Winstar, or if you search chicken dip, buffalo chicken dip, you're gonna find it. So I'm addicted to it. I could eat it every single day. So I decided to make something just a little bit different. Um, oh, and I missed it. What did Haley Johnson say that was so funny? I missed it. Mm. So that makes me sad. I wanna see what you said. Okay, anyway, we'll have to come back to it. Okay. Yes, Lynn missed it, so she wants me to post it. So I definitely will. Okay, so tonight we're gonna make something that's just a little bit different. So the buffalo chicken dip, I love it. John loves it. I think John would eat it as many days a week as I do. And I, we do it, so when we make it, sometimes we eat it with tortilla chips because a lot of times by the time we've made it, I have enough points left that I can use some tort you know, use some tortilla chips. Um, it's really good on celery, believe it or not. I think because celery goes well with like buffalo chicken wings and so the buffalo chicken dip um, is really tasty on that and um, it's really good in macaroni and cheese it's really good on I don't know if you can see it but I have a spaghetti squash over here that's waiting to be made um, but it's really good on spaghetti squash it's just good in a lot of things it's good just on a piece of bread it's really good as a sandwich but I have a lot of friends who don't eat spicy things what and I have a, fam a family member who doesn't eat spicy things what so I decided to make something different, a little bit, you know, a little bit different twist on it. This is gonna be, this is gonna be hot bacon honey mustard dip. Okay, Casey hopefully is not watching right now because hot bacon honey mustard dip used to be our thing. That was our jam, not dip. Hot bacon honey mustard on salads, yeah. So about 50 pounds ago, hot bacon honey mustard was my go-to dressing. It was my go-to salad dressing. So. Tonight, we're gonna make, and we're making other things for it to go on, is why I have things going in the air fryer. You do not make this dip in the air fryer. Just gonna say, if you try to make it in the air fryer, it's gonna be a disaster, I think. Okay, so you're gonna start with, for the hot bacon honey mustard dip, which Jessica will have up on the blog later this week. It's on, it'll be on ifyouhaveanegg.com. The buffalo chicken dip is already there. The hot bacon honey mustard dip will be on there at some point this week, so she's pretty quick about getting them up when I give her the information. But all you're going to do for this one, it is a little bit, it's a, a few more points. So it is two points for a fourth of a cup. The buffalo chicken dip is one because it's mostly chicken breast. This one's a lot of bacon. It's a lot of bacon. So this one is going to be two smart points. Don't think it matters if you're on green, purple, blue, whatever you're on. It's going to be two smart points for a quarter of a cup, but this flavor is out of this world and trust me a little bit goes a long way so while we're waiting on the other two things to finish up in the air fryer that this is going to go on we're going to start with eight ounces of fat-free cream cheese and if you live in knoxville i have a special announcement for you food city has fat-free cream cheese again they have not had it since april since april so they have it again, fat, actual fat free. I've been having to substitute and up the points for third less fat. So it's one block of fat free cream cheese, let it come to room temperature. So room temperature just means that it's gonna be soft. So see how soft that is? Then you're going to take, this is, let's see, this is a half of a cup of Velveeta shredded cheese. You can use other cheese, just make sure you count the points. The Velveeta melts really well in here, so that's why I like to use it in here. And it's just, it's Velveeta, just like Velveeta cheese slices, but it's in a shredded form. So that's a half a cup of that. Then you're gonna take a fourth of a cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt and a fourth of a cup of some kind of light, fat-free, sugar-free, something honey mustard. So I'm using the G Hughes um, sugar-free honey mustard, and I'll have to show you all a picture of it later, but it's just the letter G. His last name is Hughes, and he has a, a sugar-free honey mustard, and Orlando Debbie is the one who introduced me to that, but it is, um, ooh, and Trish made the wonton wrapper recipe with the buffalo chicken dip. That is awesome. So it's a fourth of a cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt, a fourth of a cup of fat-free or sugar-free or some kind of light um, honey mustard, 
This is the G Hughes honey mustard, and we're just going to pour that straight in there. And trust me, the G Hughes, ha it has enough flavor, you would never, ever, ever notice that it was sugar-free at all. Okay, so we're going to start mixing that because we're going to fold the last ingredient into this. And if I had used, oh, one of our things is ready. If I had chosen to use a deeper bowl, I would not have to be so gentle um, as I am right now. So you're not trying to completely mix this, but we're going to be making, we're going to be cooking this in the microwave. And we just want everything to be semi mixed together. When I'm not trying to do this live on Facebook, I use. Oh, <laughs> Betty says she could drink G Hughes honey mustard. And Barbara says that New York does not have the Velveeta shredded cheese. So I think, Barbara, if you go um, to Amazon, you can order it. But you can use any kind of cheese, any kind of cheese that will melt well. Um, I'm gonna say probably not fat-free cheese. Um, go ahead and use something with a little, you know, with a little bit of points. And don't go crazy, but you definitely want something that melts well. Okay, if I was at home and I was doing this in a deeper bowl and not trying to do this live and and not trying to do this in a shallow bowl so that y'all could see what I was doing, I usually use a potato masher. I usually just use like just a potato masher and mash all of these ingredients. Okay. But we're gonna mix this again, so this is mixed well enough right now. Then, here's the secret ingredient, although it shouldn't be a secret ingredient, because it's called hot bacon. It's called hot bacon honey mustard. This is six slices of, of um, my candied bacon. So I have a candied bacon recipe that is already on, if you have an egg.com, the candied bacon recipe is um, Applegate Sunday bacon or any other bacon that is one point per slice, um, just to keep the just to keep the points lower. Um, some of them, if you put if you do two slices, it jumps it up to three points. Um, yeah, Marion, don't worry about the fat free cheese. I don't fat free the fat free cream cheese. I mean, if you use a third, if you use the third fat cream cheese, um, it's just going to up the points a little bit. But this bacon is our this is our candied bacon. And it's already on if you have an egg.com. So it's bacon. It's one point per slice bacon. You can use turkey bacon. You can, for my vegetarian friends, you can use veggie bacon. Um, it doesn't quite crumble just like this, but it's really good too. And then it has um, sugar-free syrup on it. And it has Dax Red Mountain Rub and a little bit of Trivia Baking Blend. But that recipe, you will just have, we will spend too much time talking about it if I keep talking about it right now but you make six slices of that so for the candied oh and thank you jessica just put the recipe up so for the candied bacon recipe um this is six slices or 12 pieces so on the recipe i have cut the i've cut the slices of bacon in half and each one is a piece so it's 12 pieces or six slices so this is six slices or 12 pieces of candied bacon and again, that recipe is already on if you have an egg.com. And this is what Dusty was so excited about. So I'm just going to kind of mix this in a little bit because, again, we're going to microwave this and then we are going to mix it again. So it's going to be smooth and creamy by the time we get done. Okay, so here it is so far. And I'm going to put this in the microwave the first time. Hello, Loretta. I'm going to put this in the microwave the first time on, um, on about a minute and a half or two minutes. And then we're going to stir it and put it back in. So I'll be right back. And this is the this is the sugar-free um, syrup, and this is the Dax Red Mountain Rub. Can't even tell y'all how much this makes bacon just fabulous, just absolutely fabulous. Okay, so right now we have both of the things that are getting the dip on them are beeping now in my air fryer. So I had two air fryers running the whole time. That microwave is louder than two Simple Living air Pro simple living Products air fryers running at the same time. So the microwave is louder than them. But we're microwaving this for two minutes. We're gonna take it out. We're gonna stir it really well. Um, then we're gonna put it back in for about a minute and then it will be ready to go on the two things that I have in the air fryer. Um, again, I'm gonna run down the list of ingredients again for you really quickly because we have a whole minute before it's going to come out 
It was an eight ounce um, block of cream cheese. And Wanda, why does sugar-free syrup make you feel weird? It's, del it's delicious. I mean, it's not syrup, but this kind, the carries, actually tastes like syrup. I had it this morning for breakfast too. Um, anyway, so it was one eight ounce block of fat-free cream cheese, let it come to room temperature, a fourth of a cup of honey mustard, some kind of sugar-free, fat-free, light, some kind of honey mustard. I use the G Hughes sugar-free honey mustard. Um, a fourth of a cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt. A half a cup of Velveeta shredded cheese, just a regular Velveeta shredded cheese, if you, ha if you have that available to you. If you do not, just find some other kind of cheese that melts really well, but just try to keep the points, you know, as low as you can. And then six slices or 12 pieces of my recipe candied bacon. And again, the candied bacon is on, it's already on if you have an egg.com. And this is a second dip recipe similar to the Winstar Karen's buffalo chicken dip, which is also already on there. Okay, let's grab that and stir it real quick. Tell you what, let me grab a towel because that bowl, I picked a shallow bowl and it is super hot. We do not want any burned fingers tonight. Okie dokie. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. So it's starting to melt. Oh, and Wanda, it may be the sugar. It may be the sugar substitute. It does. It's not a weird that she's talking about. Wanda's talking about the sugar-free um, syrup. I don't know. It doesn't. I don't think it has a weird taste. Like a lot of sugar, some sugar-free things are just have like a wonky taste. The sugar-free syrup, the Carrie's sugar-free syrup, to me does not have a weird after aftertaste. And the um, G. Hughes sugar-free honey mustard does not, definitely does not have a weird aftertaste. As a matter of fact, the G. Hughes ketchup, who has had the G. Hughes, who has had the G. Hughes ketchup? It is actually sweeter. I think it is sweeter than normal ketchup. I mean, it's a nice sweet. It's not a, it's not a fake sweet. Okay. Okie dokie. So this is what it looks like. After stir number one, we're gonna put it back in for one more minute. Okay, so while that is cooking, let or while that's finishing, let's start talking about the acorn squash. So I have made I hope y'all can see this. I'll put it out on the plate in a few minutes. But I have made um, acorn squash in the air fryer. So I'll explain how to do that in just a few minutes. But if you've never had acorn squash, butternut squash, spaghetti squash, any of those hard, um, I guess they're, are they winter squashes? Does anybody know? Winter squashes, summer squashes, not sure. Um, winter i guess they're winter squashes because they're so hard if you have if you have avoided trying to cook them because you thought it was going to be hard or it was going to take forever no i just proved that the acorn squash is super super easy to cook in the air fryer i'm going to show you what to do with it yes and thank you lynn it took me just a second but i figured it out yes they are winter squashes So we're gonna go back to the winter squash. We're gonna go back to the acorn squash here in just a second. We're gonna stir the dip one more time. So this has been in the microwave for two minutes. We stirred it really well. And then it went back in the microwave for one minute. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, so a serving of this is approximately a quarter of a cup. And for a quarter of a cup, it is about, it's two, let's call it two smart points. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. 
This is what we're going to do. And yes, Debbie, I'm not going to eat the peel the peel of it. Oh yeah, it's not like delicata squash where I eat the peel. I'm not eating the peel of the acorn squash. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is get the acorn squash out. After I clean up my mess here. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to move you all. Okay, I'm going to get an acorn squash out. And while it's finishing, I'll tell you how I made it. So... The acorn squash has been completely cooked in the air fryer, but I am going to take these. Can you see that? How pretty those are? I'm going to take these and I'm going to put a little bit of the hot bacon honey mustard dip inside of each one of them. So I'm going to put about a quarter of a cup. Well, I just made a mess. I'm going to put about a quarter of a cup of the hot bacon honey mustard dip in each one of these acorn squash. And I lost part of my dip because I've spilled it on a plate, so we'll just have to lick that up later. Okay, I'm going to put that inside of the acorn, acorn squash, and we're going to put it back in the air fryer. This time on 360, so I don't have to push the temperature button because I'm not changing the temperature, but I'm going to change the time to five minutes and then push start. Okay, so this dip, just like the buffalo chicken dip, is excellent on, if you have enough points left over for the day, it's excellent on tortilla chips. It's really good on carrots, believe it or not. Um, good on so many things. Bagels, it's really good on bagels. Okay, but I am going to use it tonight on the acorn squash and I'm gonna use it on some chicken. Let me tell you real quick how to cook the acorn squash though while that is finishing heating. So on the acorn squash, you're gonna cut one in half and I'll do that as a separate recipe. I'll post that as a separate recipe here in a few days. But on the acorn squash, you're gonna wash it. You're gonna wash the outside of it first, cut it in half, scoop the seeds out, and then you're going to turn it cut side up in your air fryer, spritz it a little bit with nonstick spray or just with a little bit of the oil and the Evo um, sprayer. You're going to spritz it with a little bit of that. If you are not going to do this, you can put like some cinnamon and sugar on it. Um, you can put a little bit of butter flavoring on it. It would be really, really, really good or just a teeny tiny bit of butter. Um, and then you're going to cook it on 400 degrees for 25 minutes. Oh, I forgot to mention you just score it first. But while you're waiting on those to finish up, I'm going to put this on some chicken and let you see what that looks like. So I also made like three more batches of that man's chicken. And that man's chicken looks like this. So that man's chicken, if you were not here with us last week, we made it. And um, we made that last week. And that recipe is already on the blog. So we have that men's chicken in either thighs or in breasts. And these are chicken breasts, what I made tonight. And that is already on if you have an egg.com. But this dip is excellent on the chicken breasts. So depending on if you are on blue or purple, how you that you um, don't have to count your chicken breast, or if you're on green, you're just gonna count it per the ounce. Add just a little bit of this dip. Add just a little bit of the hot bacon honey mustard dip to your that man's chicken. And sorry, I only had a green plate, so it's not the prettiest presentation. But you're gonna add just a little bit of the hot bacon honey mustard dip to your that man's chicken. Let's taste it real quick, because I'm hungry. I haven't had supper yet. It is almost 9 o'clock here, and I haven't had supper yet, so I'm going to taste it really quick. So again, this was that man's chicken breast. You can always do it. Um, oh, and Sandra's air fryer runs hot. Hers runs a little bit hotter, so she said to only do it for 18 minutes. You should definitely check it. I forgot to mention that. But this is that man's, that man's chicken, the breast, with the hot bacon honey mustard dip on it. 
Mm. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna end up eating all of this before I go home. All of this, just kidding. I'll have to take it home. Fortunately, John has already had supper, so he's not gonna be digging into this and about to pass out. So, again, chips, because the air, the corn, the, I'm sorry, the acorn squash has two more minutes. So, if you've got room for chips, if you've got room, I mean, if you have like points left over for chips, you can eat it on any kind of vegetable. Um, cucumber rounds, it's really good on that peppers you could stuff peppers with this um, but it's hot bacon honey mustard if you've ever had hot bacon honey mustard dressing you know exactly why I'm standing here drooling right now but hot bacon honey mustard we've made it into a dip we've tried it on chicken I promise you it's good on chips because I've had it on chips too um, but I am about to pass out waiting on this acorn squash to come out I'm so excited we may actually have to get it out just a minute early since we only have like three minutes left. So hold on just a second. Oh yeah, it's already good. Okay. That is already hot enough. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Now these were small acorn squash. So I'm going to say that each one, each half is about two servings. Oh my gosh, and it is so well cooked, it does not want to come out. So give me just a second. It is so soft. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Whew. It is, oh, it is so ready to be eaten. So ready. So again, the acorn squash was super easy to make in the air fryer. That is not the prettiest presentation, but... I do not care. We are still going to try it. You do not eat the outside of the skin, um, the outside rind of the um, of acorn squash. If you've watched me make delicata squash, you're probably thinking, oh, she's just going to eat the whole thing. Yeah, you don't do that with the acorn squash. These would be pretty sliced and served. You can just eat straight out of the middle of it. So this was an air fryer acorn squash, and it has each half. This was a small one. Each half has a quarter cup of the hot bacon honey mustard dip in it. And it's going to be super hot. So let's see how it is. Oh my gosh. Oh, I wish y'all could smell this. Somebody is going to have to... It's going to have... Can you see how steamy that is? Somebody is going to have to figure out how to do smell a vision for Facebook Live because this is ridiculously... Oh my gosh. This smells so good so good and Trish is exactly right she said this is gonna be extremely good inside of the wonton wrappers she's exactly right okay let it cool off for just I know we were getting so close to nine o'clock but let it cool I don't want to burn my mouth let it cool off for just a second oh this smells so good and just so you know Dusty has given up he's absolutely given up and yes Debbie it is very much steaming mmm Perfect. Perfect. It's perfect with the acorn squash. So the acorn squash is just sweet enough that the hot bacon and the honey mustard, it has just enough sweetness to it to make that absolutely fabulous. Okay, so we will get these recipes up just as quickly as we can this week. Um, we already have the recipe for that man's chicken. That is already up. The buffalo chicken dip that I've mentioned 15 times, that is already up. The recipe for the um, air fryer acorn squash will be up in just a few days. Jessica will likely get the recipe for the um, hot bacon honey mustard dip up first. I think that one will probably go up first before the acorn squash does. But I hope you all enjoyed yet another fun Sunday evening. Um, I have, and now I've got yummy food to eat before I go home or after I get home. But you all have a great week. We will get these posted just as quickly as we can. If you're watching this later on YouTube, or if you need to go back and listen to this, if you need to go back and watch it, if you need to go back and say, what did she put in that? If it's easier for you to watch, you can go back and watch these on YouTube. It's just youtube.com. Search if you have an egg. If you're watching this from YouTube, pretty, pretty, pretty please. Go ahead and click on the next, or just let the next one roll over because the next video is going to roll over. We have 186 chats. I think I've looked and we have over, it's like 300 videos altogether. But anyway, 
So go ahead and let the next one roll over. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click this button down here and you're going to subscribe, click the little bell so that you'll be notified next time. Or if you want to order a Spreadshirt, which this apron came from Spreadshirt, that is the next button over. Don't forget, if you order a Wego shirt or if you order any of the printable downloads, those will all of those proceeds will go towards getting us our awesome and cool camera um, that I know that you all will enjoy. So you all have another great evening. Have another great week. I so appreciate you all. Thank you to everyone who has already ordered a t-shirt. Um, but y'all have a great week and we will see you next time. Have a great week.